Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paul, AKA Modern Reefer. And today let's take a look at the clarity of my water. All right guys, so if you haven't noticed, the water is pretty clear and clean today. Uh, took a few recommendations from some of the guys on the forums and um, what I did was um, I actually changed out the filter socks and then I also added in a chemical compound that also helped it out. I did the socks first and noticed that uh, it was capturing some of the debris, some of the uh, stuff that's floating around, but it didn't really capture everything after a day. Uh, so what I did was took the recommendation of a few folks and I gave this a try. This is a Clarity by Seacam and this is good for reef and also planted tanks. And uh, this chemical is actually kind of brownish, yellowish. Um, so when you pour it into your tank, it actually clouds the water. Uh, but within a few hours, it, uh, what it does is it combines them all, clumps them all together and then they go down, of course, the drain pipe and then they all get stuck down here in the filter stock. So, for me, it took a combination of both, and you can tell it looks kind of yellowish. That's due to, uh, due to the, um, the Seachem product, the Clarity product. It um, has a yellow hue to it, but when it binds all these uh, little small particles together, they come down here and they get clogged into the system here. I mean, the filter socks here, so it looks kind of yellowish. But yeah, this thing does the trick. It works really well. And now today, this morning, uh, the tank looks super clear and clean and now comes the waiting game. So the water looks good. I'm going to probably siphon out some of the, uh, you know, some of the stuff on the ground here, the small little sand. Um, however, I am, I am going to put some sand in this tank cause I like sand. So I got, uh, some, what is this? I think these are uh, nature's ocean. I got four bags of those. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough, but I don't want it to be too thick on the bottom, just enough uh, so that uh, my little ras can hide when he needs to, or when he needs to go to sleep, he's got a place to bury himself into. But yeah, so my tank looks pretty clean and clear. I'm happy I gave this product a try. So I mean, if you guys are running into the same issue, if you have a filter socks and it's just not cutting it, uh, you know, give this product a try. I used it and to me it worked really well. So, all right guys, this is just a short update. Um, I know one of you guys had requested about my ATO setup outside. I, I'm just not there yet. So when the time comes, I can get that uh, video up for you guys and you can see how I have it going. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at today. If you have any questions or comments, if there's something you would like to see on my setup, um, or if you want to know my plans uh, or future plans, feel free to uh, post comment down in the section below and I'll get back to you. So again, guys, thanks for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next video.